everyone and welcome to this week's DT project for my besties design team um, today is Friday so today is I just made a new project um, I think let me see this is going to be my last project for July um, I did rejoin um, the team uh, my term my term for my first well my term for the first months is over for this uh, this is my was supposed to be my last one but I decided to continue with the team and I'll be starting up again in August I'll let you guys know which day I will be um, putting up my videos so this is my last video for Friday for this term so let me show you what I made for today's project I decided let me just back this up a little bit so I decided to go a little simple <laughs> I usually like going a little bit more than you know like last video I made a hair bow because I wanted to do something different I usually alter something or just trying to make something different and I love to embellish my projects so I wanted to do a little uh, something a little bit different. I decided to go with this beautiful digi that she is like holding, like sitting down, just sitting there thinking. And I decided to do this is just a regular um, fold card. It is five by five and a half. Let me make sure. Five by five and a half. It's not that big. It will be perfect for any, you know, to give away in any occasion because I like I stamp this message with love on here and I made it to like a little banner and I crinkled it up and distressed it a little bit with ink and then the paper line that I used for this card is by Pink Paisley this stack right here it's called the Cottage Farm 6x6 paper stack um, it comes in this little baggie that you see here and it comes with 24 single sheets two of each color so that's why I decided to go with the color scheme that you see here. Um, I colored it in where my Copics and I used like a kind of like a mauve color for her shirt, of course the blue for her pants. Then I added in some orange and green on here. And um, yeah, so I backed her up in this I, um, piece of paper. I just cut up a square, put a little paper doily in the background, and then these are all, these three flowers are all cut on my Silhouette Cameo. These are one of those roll um, roses, and then just one of those seven petal daisies that I cut a smaller piece and a, and a bigger piece, and then just layered them and added a little flat back pearl, added some a little bow seam binding here, and then I added, I didn't want to add no paper flowers hand, like, that are like, already made I wanted to put the um, put handmade flowers on here but I felt like it needed something on this little corner so I decided to add that little wild orchid craft flower there and then I put three little banners here using the same paper line and a little flourish that I cut it's for, it's a little die from dynamics it's this die right here whoops I show, showed you without the die the die fell out this die right here it's by dynamics so, and what I did was I, I cut out two of them, and then I cut a little bit of a small piece, like a, one of the little ends. I think it's, let me see. Yeah, it's just this little swirl right here. You cut here, like you get like a couple of little swirls out of this. This is what, this is why it's good. You can like cut here, here, and you get like three swirls out of this. So that's what I did. I cut this part here, and then I cut that part here on the second one, and add in here. And I did add a little bit of uh, flat back pearls here, just for dimension. And I bent this over and added this right here, the glare. Okay, there you go. I added that. It's from a trim that I had in my stash. It's this trim. And then I also added this trim on there, but of course it got covered up with everything. <laughs> so, and like I said, I added a paper doily. So yeah, um, like I said, this is the first time I try to make something simple. Um, and this digi, you can find it in Sherry's shop, Etsy shop. 
Uh, she just came out with some beautiful new July digis, and you gotta go and check them out. They are so beautiful, so detailed, full of so much detail. I love them. And um, I am gonna put the link to her shop below. Please go over there. You're not gonna regret it. They're beautiful. And the best thing about the digis, uh, apart from the rubber stamps, which she also has in her shop, is that with the digi, you could print it out whatever size you want. You could print it out real tiny, you could print it out big, you could print it out different sizes. Um, and that's the best part of having digis is that you could print it out to your liking, to the size that you, you know, it's, you know, perfect for your, for your project. So this is my project for today. Please go visit Sherry's shop. I'm going to put the link to the girls of the, um, of the design team so you can go check out their work. The girls that are in now, um, if you want to check out their work, please go this week because this was the last week because the new team starts up on August. I want to congratulate to all the new girls that made it to the new team. Can't wait to get to know you all. And I want to thank you all for coming by and watching my video and um, taking a look at my new project. So I hope you all have a beautiful, happy Friday and a great weekend. Bye-bye, everybody. Happy crafting. God bless.